today on Lulu's Books, we'll be reading a little golden book based off of the movie DreamWorks Trolls. Once upon a time, in a happy forest filled with happy trees, there lived the happiest creatures the world had ever known, the trolls. They loved nothing more than to sing and dance and hug and 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 sing and dance and hug a lot. Today was an especially happy day in Troll Village. Princess Poppy was going to throw a big party. Everyone was excited to celebrate, except Branch. He didn't like singing, dancing, or hugging. Instead, he spent his time worrying about the Bergens. Long ago, the Bergens had captured trolls and eaten them. The Bergens thought that eating trolls brought them happiness. Luckily, many of the trolls had escaped. Until now, Princess Poppy's celebration was the biggest, loudest, craziest party ever. It was so loud that the Bergen chef found where the trolls had been living all of these years. Most of the trolls managed to hide, but Chef was able to scoop up several of them, including Poppy's closest friends, Satin and Chenille, Cooper, Biggie, Guy Diamond, Smidge, DJ Sookie, and Creek. Chef couldn't wait to bring the tasty trolls back to Bergen Town. Help me, Poppy. Poppy had to save her friends. She convinced Branch to help her. The sooner we get to Bergen Town, the sooner we can rescue everybody and make it home safely. Of course, Poppy's plan included making a scrapbook page with plenty of glitter. Meanwhile, thanks to Chef, King Gristle would finally get to eat a troll and experience happiness. The king decided to have a big celebration called Trollstus, so all the Bergens could eat trolls and become happy too. When Poppy and Branch got to King Gristle's castle, they found most of their friends hidden in a cage in Bridget the maid's room. King Gristle will never love me. <laughs> but Creek was missing. Bridget agreed to help them find Creek if they could get Cream Gristle to notice her. Poppy knew what to do. Satin and Chenille made Bridget a glitter jumpsuit. Then all the trolls sat on her head to make a super colorful rainbow wig. Bridget loved her makeover. She called herself Lady Glitter Sparkles. The king would certainly notice her now. When King Gristle saw Lady Glitter Sparkles, he fell in love. He didn't realize she was his maid. The king took her roller skating. He showed her his new locket. Creek was inside it. Help me. Later, the troll snuck into the king's room to save Creek. They grabbed the locket and zoomed past the king, his pet, and his guards. Wee. Wee. But when Poppy opened the locket, Creek wasn't there. Poppy was sad to learn that to save his own life, Creek had told Chef where all the other trolls of Troll Village were hiding. How could Creek have betrayed his friends? Then everyone was trapped in a pot. Poppy lost all hope and her color started to fade. The other trolls lost their color too. They turned gray with sadness. Suddenly, they heard a beautiful voice singing. It was Branch. His singing brought out his true colors. He turned bright green with purple hair. He sang because his heart was full of hope and joy that Poppy showed him. He loved Poppy, and Poppy loved Branch. She and the other trolls started to sing too, and their true colors came back. Bridget couldn't let the Bergens eat her friends. She lifted the cover off the pot so that the trolls could escape. Bridget knew she would get in trouble, but she was glad she had one day of happiness on her date with the king. At Trollstis, the Bergens, eager to finally get a taste of happiness, were angry to discover that Bridget had set the trolls free. Just then, the trolls burst in to save her. They formed the rainbow wig again and landed right on Bridget's head. When King Gristle learned that Lady Glittersparkers was actually Bridget, he was overjoyed. He realized that he didn't need to eat a troll to be happy. All he needed was a heart full of Bridget by his side. They do look kind of happy, one Bergen admitted. Branch told everyone how miserable he had been until Poppy had taught him how to dance and hug and sing. Before long, all the Bergens were dancing and singing too. The only Bergen who wasn't happy was Chef. Now that no one wanted to eat trolls, she was out of a job. Chef and Creek were banished from Bergen Town, destined to be unhappy together. The trolls had brought happiness to Bergen Town, but not in a way anyone had expected. The trolls had a huge celebration. Poppy was crowned queen of the trolls and everyone cheered. After finally experiencing their true colors, the Bergens and the trolls now lived in peaceful harmony. If you enjoyed this book reading by Lulu's Books, then please like and subscribe for more content. Thanks.